Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So I thought I'd show you something I've been puttering around with the last little while. Uh, last summer I uh, installed a, a dash cam that uh, had a really good parking mode, but uh, the parking mode would uh, drain down my truck battery if I left it on for for multiple days. Um, so I actually took uh, had a solar panel I'd used on a truck toolbox for many years. So I took an old controller and then fed it into the truck battery to keep it topped up. Um, a little bit later on, I came up with a version 2 of that where I added a, a battery, a lithium battery I had, and also put in an inverter, kind of a truck toolbox uh, power station. And now I'm back with a kind of version 3 here, um, taking stuff that, that uh, I've been reviewing over the last while and, and kind of a way for me to to utilize it and also you know give kind of a longer term review because I got so much stuff in my my trailer that's that's too much stuff to put in there so kind of using the truck box here with with some items so this diagram kind of shows what I've set up here so there's the solar panel 100 water that sits on the toolbox and I also can plug in a ground panel array to increase the solar power going into it there's this Bouge RV, it's a 40 amp MPPT solar controller. So I can take power from the solar panel through that and charge this Chins battery that, that I have currently in there. I actually had an Ampere Time battery that has um, self-heating and I wanted to use that, but it developed a, a flaw in a recent video I showed it has a failure, so they're sending me out a different one. So hopefully that'll work because this thing, I don't know if it has low temperature protection or not, but this time of year, I'm not too worried about that. We don't have, you know, freezing temperatures happening, but I really want to put in something that has low temperature protection or ideally one that has its own self-heating. Another way to charge this is this DC to DC charger, this Renogy, which I installed probably a couple years ago now, and I've been using it as my DC to DC charger in the RV, but recently I'm reviewing an SRNE DC to DC charger. So I had this spare, so this is going to be incorporated into this truck box power system. And so off the alternator, I can charge 40 amps into this battery. Um, then there's also this uh, Alpha 1500 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. So I'm going to put that in there and then mount a plug on the side of the box so that I can plug stuff into it and power stuff. Um, I also have this uh, battery monitor that I bought last summer for testing batteries, so I'll put that in there. And it has a shunt, so we'll be able to, I'll be able to see all the power going in and out of the battery, and I'll know exactly how much life it has left in it. Also, this has a, an app too, so between those two, I can see how much solar is coming in on my phone and look at this through my phone. And then, of course, this goes out. Uh, there's a feed to my dash cam system. So I actually have a pair of dash cams and about seven cameras. And that way I can have parking mode on all the time. And one that I have now has a cloud feature that I can look at. If it's hooked to a hotspot, I can see live real time around my truck through that. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd do this diagram so you can see exactly what's going on. And uh, and then we'll go out now and show you it being installed in the box. Keep in mind that this is just a roughed in, kind of just roughed it in. I don't have enough components and parts right now to make it all look pretty, but I thought I'd give you this video out of interest. So, okay, let's give you a look. So we got a solar panel over here. It shows I can put out a ground panel and I connect it right here. I'm not using the ground panel. I just changed these connectors. So just the solar panel is there for a charging source. And then for the DC to DC charger, this port's been in here a long time. I used to use this uh, Renogy charger in my RV over there. Um, now I have a SRNE uh, DC to DC charger that I'm testing. So I'm using the same port. Basically behind here is a, is a four gauge wire that goes down to my battery and another four gauge wire that goes down and connects to the truck frame. So we got the positive and negative from the alternator. We'll go through that cable there. I'll go up here and show you inside the toolbox. It's a big plastic toolbox. It's got a blanket that I usually carry in there for doing work under the rig, etc. So here we go. 
you can see right now everything's hooked to this 200 amp hour chins battery there's another battery under here which is that uh, ampere time that i found was flawed and not working they're sending out another one for me to test so it's just being stored in here for now anyway there's also this bouge rv a solar controller that uh, i had reviewed uh, back in the spring i think or summer last year so i've been using it for my uh, truck box uh, power station for a while now no problems so the solar panels go into that and then it goes out and charges the battery <clears throat> this thing flashing over here is my battery monitor it's called a cooler tron or sort of the same as the jump tech um, i purchased that back in the summer so i could do use it for testing batteries this is actually its display but it does have a smartphone app that i use and then this is its uh shunt that it measures the current going in and out of the battery i just have for the time being a fuse in there 175 amp fuse just to protect everything this fuse here is part of a wire that goes back to uh to uh my dash cams so this battery um does the parking mode on my dash cam so that i can leave my dash cams going 24 7 and recording for as long as i want it runs off this battery <clears throat> over here is the dc to dc charger so you can see that wire coming in from the battery then the output is going into this battery there's a red wire here that will turn it on and off and that's going down following the same route as this wire and it goes to the where my cigarette lighter socket is my 12 volt power socket and i have a socket i can plug in and out to turn this on and off it should be very convenient because that uh, power socket in my truck it only turns on when the engine's on um, when the engine turns off it turns off so that i won't have this thing running when the engine's off and i can choose to run it or not then over here we have the alpha 1500 watt power inverter i reviewed it at the same time as this battery at that time i told you i was going to do something like this throw together a system so i could do a longer term test so that's hooked up to the battery it has a power switch over here that turns it on and off and then simply i've put a box here and a weatherproof cover so i can plug something in there if i want or if say i charge up this battery and I actually want to take its power and use it. I can have it charge the batteries in my RV. Kind of, I can take, kind of take the truck and drive it around. And when I'm driving the truck, say go get groceries or whatever, or touring about, I can have the truck engine charge up the battery here. And then when I come back to my RV, I can feed that power into my RV battery if I want, which will be handy when I'm camped under trees. You know, we spend a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest and you don't get much solar power, especially in the fall and spring if you're under trees. So this would be kind of handy to be able to charge this up while I'm away and that'll reduce the generator time that I have to do. Anyway, like I said, it's just all kind of roughed in. There's also a fuse here uh, for the solar charger that I've just thrown in there. I got to get a bunch of more parts and, and stuff to pretty everything up. You know, I'm just sort of taped things, connections here, and, and I need different switches and breakers to kind of make everything look really nice. But uh, it's all working. I'll just give you a look at that. We'll go in there and fire up the truck, and I'll show you it uh, charging. So here we are. This is the app that goes with that battery monitor. And you can see right now it's showing the voltage and current. It's charging at around 15 amps off those solar panels. We'll just turn on the truck. And we'll plug in. This is the other end of that trigger wire for the DC to DC charger. Just plug it into my 12 volt socket there. And she should turn on the charger. Yeah, you can see it ramping up 54 amps. So now we're charging at 54 amps. And I can just pull it out if I want. You 
see it drop right back down to 14 amps. I'll put it back in there. Turns back on. Now if I just turn the truck off, it's still going to be pulling 50 amps, but that socket there on my truck actually turns off. I think it's about a 30 second delay and then it turns off. So what will happen is that amperage will drop back to just the solar panels again. There we go. So it's dropped back. I hear my dash cam said parking mode on. That's what I got. I got a bunch of cameras, a couple dash cams and a bunch of cameras that monitor the surrounding area. So I want them on 24 seven. And one of them even runs a, a cloud service so I can, I can look at the truck and the RV while I'm away through my phone. Anyway, I'll, like I say, I'm going to be prettying this up and I'll come back with a second uh, part of this, uh, this video series and we'll have a look at what I've done to pretty it up. I think this thing's just temporary. I'm probably going to wire this in behind there and uh, so that it'll, it'll be hidden away. Maybe I'll put a toggle switch on. I'm not, not sure yet. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Until next time, Ray from Love ERV. Cheers, guys.